like buses, people have been waiting for bed bug monitors for years and then suddenly we get about half a dozen. Um, we introduced uh, this one uh, towards the back end of last year. It's a very simple device uh, that uh, forms a, a lovely harbourage for bed bugs and if you put it in the right place and you've got bed bugs in the room, uh, they're going to uh, use that as a harbourage and you're looking for, for blood spots. The critical thing about this product is it gives you a product around which you can uh, create a monitoring service. Okay, that's the key thing about that particular product. Uh, we've also got devices which you can put on bed legs which stop uh, the bed bugs getting onto the bed from the, uh, from the floor. Um, that's quite a nice, that's called the bed bug barrier, it's quite a nice sell-on to hotels, etc. Uh, and the, we've also got the, the uh, Brandenburg BB alert system uh, with the heat pad. Uh, we've got uh, samples if you want to see that. And um, we've also got, uh, we've actually had these for some years, uh, sticky tapes which can be used uh, for trapping any, any bed bugs that are in the, in the vicinity of the, of the bed. We've also got what's called the uh, auto confusion system. Um, it's from a company called Exosect. So this is called Exosect Auto Confusion for both stored product moths and uh, close, common clothes moth. Um, AgriSense uh, will be uh, talking about their plans for a similar system which they're, they're bringing out in the near future. Uh, and we also have uh, a new ultraviolet light trap. It's a, quite a, a unique design. You can have two side by side, back to back, you have four together at once. It's a modular system. Quite a, a nice, uh, neat system. We've got a couple of other things which are quite useful. Uh, we've got a, a drain cleaner uh, which is based on bacteria and they basically eat anything that's organic and they're used in oil spillages for instance. Uh, but this you would pop down the drain and it, it's slow acting, it's not as quick as hydrochloric acid which is the the normal product, but if you've got uh, filter flies or, or drain flies, fruit fly problems in a, a drain system, that could be uh, used uh, to help whatever insecticide treatments you're doing, because remember you can't put insecticides down drains. That will be coming out uh, in the next few weeks. We also, this is a product which we actually make ourselves, uh, we make a number of uh, wood preserving products uh, and we decided to make a permethrin based oil-based uh, spray, uh, which you can use both as a surface treatment and also as a, as a, a space treatment. <coughs> Diphenicum contact gel from Sorex, um, whilst it's still available, uh, because the contact gels and the, contacts, uh, the concentrates and the, uh, the tracking dusts are all going to be going pretty soon. Um, Diphenicum, of course, is now what's on Annex 1 of the Biocides Products Directive. It's no longer uh, under the control of pesticides regulations, so there's a whole series of things that we have to do uh, because we've got formulations based on diphenicum, and of course all of everybody else who's got diphenicum-based products is having to comply with these new uh, regulations. And it's only going to be a matter of time, possibly even only months, before uh, the EU decides to ban anything which has got, I think it's more than 0.1% uh, in it. Um, the big thing for us, uh, the big product that was launched at Pestech last year was our Romax mouse box. It's a mouse box which, when it's closed, you can't open it with just your hands. And there's not that many mouse boxes that you can say that about. Um, the other thing is that you can also use it as an insect detector by the inclusion of a false floor inside the actual mouse box itself. So you've got a glue board at the bottom and then a, a, what we call a mezzanine floor that the mice can walk over and not get stuck to the glue board, uh, but the cockroaches, etc., will get trapped underneath. So that's an optional extra. You don't have to have that, but it's, it's a, a, a nice way of uh, having a dual-purpose uh, product in your client's premises. And another nice little product that makes life easy for you is a very good uh, self-adhesive anchor. Uh, with which you can, you can secure mouse boxes. Um, once you've stuck that, it's very, very difficult to get off. 
Uh, you'll be hearing a little bit more uh, later today, possibly, if Brady's voice has got better. Um, the, the lock and load system from, from Bell, uh, you can certainly see it on their, um, on their stand. It's, it's a device which they have got two different sizes, which takes uh, the Bell boxes and you can secure them in place using this device. They've also introduced their DTEX blocks with what they call a biomarker. It's a fluorescent dye uh, which the, the rats will pass through them and then you can follow uh, fluorescent urine and, and droppings uh, using a, a little UV torch and we've got a nice one based on LED technology uh, which is not all that expensive uh, and, and is very good at picking up uh, signs of, of rats as a result. Um, this afternoon we've got a, a couple of practical workshops called Down the Drain. Um, one is, uh, is on a selection of drain cameras and we'll be, we've got permission from the hotel to look into their drains. They were a little bit hesitant about this. <laughs> now what, what on earth do you want to do that for? Um, the other one that we, the other product we'll be, we'll be demonstrating is the, the, the rat blocker, which is a device which you can put down drains, uh, which will allow liquids and solids to flow in one direction and rats not be able to come up the other. Um, they're not going to do that uh, in the drain. They're actually, they've got a nice clean um, uh, bit of apparatus which they, they, they'll be demonstrating. These will be, we can't have you know, all 70 odd of you uh, around looking around a drain at one time so we split we'll, we'll have to split you into at least into three groups at least okay so when we get to this time we'll, we'll have to uh, we'll have to do that so that uh, say 20 of you at a time are looking down the drain 20 of you are perhaps looking at the rat blocker and the other 20 uh, can uh, drink coffee and, and, and look at the exhibition um, Bill will also be showing you uh, the the Talperid mole trap now when I discuss this with mole catchers, uh, they tend to be a bit sniffy about this. Um, the thing is, it's, it's actually selling quite well uh, because not every pest controller is a master mole catcher. And that actually does look a business in certain situations. Yes, I'm not suggesting that you buy 100 of these and, 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 and use them in... in uh, uh, farmers' fields, etc., but it may be quite appropriate I in other situations, and we've been pleasantly surprised by the way it's taken off. Um, from Rentakill, we've got a, a, a nice fox, new Foxtoxin carrying bag uh, into which you can keep the, you know, the applicator and uh, flasks, and uh, you can see that on the Rentakill um, exhibition stand. Um, <coughs> last year, we introduced a, a, a repellent product, a new one. Uh, called Resist, uh, and at the beginning of this year we got the approval uh, extended so that it covered other animals. Uh, it was originally just moles and dogs, um, but we got it to, to be extended to foxes, <coughs> rabbits, geese as well. The powder is perhaps useful for spot treatments, but we got a new liquid uh, product which is much more appropriate for large-scale treatment. So uh, those of you who are into ground maintenance, you know, looking after golf courses or something like this, this may be a, an interesting new product for you. One thing though, it is uh, a, a plant protection product, so uh, we can only supply it to you if you have the relevant pesticide application certificates. Okay. Normally PA1 and PA6, but if you're using um, quad bikes with uh, spraying equipment at the back, you'll need the appropriate pesticide application certificate for that. <coughs> a couple of other products which we've got available. One is uh, a liquid spill powder, which is a, a nice thing to have in the back of your van. Um, you need to have a spill kit of some kind with you at all times. Um, it's all very well saying, oh, yes, I'll, I, if I get a spillage, I can go and get something. No, you need it then and there. Uh, and it's also quite useful to sell on. And then finally, we've got uh, a new booklet from, from Mike Kelly, who uh, I suspect many of you will know. Um, it's a very good um, handbook to have with regard to all the...